Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the light effects found in Rampant Style Kits in Premiere Pro. Now, if you are not familiar with Rampant Style Kits, head on over to RampantStyleKits.com and check out all the amazing packs that Rampant has put together for your video needs. Everything from emojis all the way to business kits, Rampant has your video style needs covered and it's super easy to use them and I'm going to show you how. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this is all about how to use the light effects from the style kits in Premiere Pro. So let's jump over to Premiere and get started. Started, we can start with our techniques. And I'm gonna show you a couple techniques to get you started, get you up and running with these light effects super easy. And the first technique is all about blend modes. And this is gonna be the most es essential technique for using the light effects. It's really easy to do it. All you do is grab an effect. So I have this really cool travel vlog edit going on. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna preview some of my files like this. And I like this one, so I'm gonna grab it, drag it, and drop it. So far, so good. Now, all we have to do is blend this with our, our video behind it. How do we do that? Well, we click on the effect, come up to our effect controls, and we're gonna change the blend mode from normal to screen, just like that. You see how it blended? Now, as you get more comfortable with using these, feel free to experiment with all of these different blend modes. Some of them give some really cool effects like overlay. They give some really different things so you can definitely play, get lots of uses out of your light effects and have a lot of fun. But for now, we're gonna start with screen and we're gonna start there. So now if I roll this back and play it, there we go, we have this super easy light effect, gives us nice little glint and it looks so good and it was super easy, okay. That's technique one, changing the blend mode. You're gonna to have to do that with all of your light effects in Premiere. The second technique is all about sizing. And all of our effects here are 4K, but we are working in an HD timeline. So all of my video down here, all my video clips are actually HD. Okay, so what do we do with this file? Well, let me show you what the size looks like first. I'm gonna zoom out here so you can see the actual frame. I'm gonna click on my effect. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna click position. It's gonna bring up this blue box. And this is actually the size of my file. It's huge and it's awesome because it's huge because we're gonna be able to take this and we're gonna be able to drag it around and we cr can create all these different effects from one file and I love that. So that's the 4K size, I'm gonna undo that, bring it back. Now if you wanna shrink this down to be HD, you can either work with this scale, so we can do scale here and you can make it as small as you want. Remember, don't go past the frame line or you'll start seeing some crazy some crazy lines, especially right here where the, the light is bright. So we don't wanna cover the frame line. So let's scale that back up. You can do that, or if I undo that a couple of times, you can also come down here to your clip and right click it and click scale to frame size this way. It's gonna automatically shrink it down. Be careful on this one because some of the light effects are sized a little differently. So you may have a line here. If you get the line here, you're gonna to have to size it down with the scale. But either way, it still works. So let me go ahead and zoom in now to our HD and roll that back. Look at that. Such a pretty nice light effect on top of this footage. This footage is kind of showing the same thing, so it gives a kind of nice motion to it. I love it. And that's it, that's the sizing. So 4K size on an HD timeline, you have lots of room to play or you can shrink it down to fit your HD project. All right, let's keep moving on to technique number three, and this one's gonna be all about opacity. So I'm gonna to go to my next clip here. We have this nice clip, and I'm gonna grab a light effect. This one looks good. Drag it over, drop it in. I'm gonna cinch it up so it matches my edit point. Now the very first thing I told you you have to do is you have to click it, and you have to change the blend mode. So let's do that very first. So from normal to screen, and then I'm going to take it down, let's see, Take it down just about there. All right, now if we play this through, it looks nice. I love it, it's pretty, but it's kind of overpowering my video. And I, don't, I want my video to be the hero here. I don't really want the light to overpower everything. So we work with the opacity to do that. You don't have to use these like they are. There's so much that you can do with them. So let's click on our effect, go up to our effect controls, and then we're gonna go here to opacity. And the very first thing you need to notice is that there, the little stopwatch here that, that makes keyframes is selected. We need to deselect that. And now we can work with our opacity. So we can make this look really subtle. I think that looks pretty nice. So let's rewind that and play that through. 
See how much nicer that looks? It gives this nice little subtle light effect, but it's not overpowering my video. That's beautiful and it looks lovely. So opacity, work with the opacity. You don't have to use it, the effect as it being so strong. Definitely turn that down if your video needs it. All right, let's keep moving on here. And I have this clip here and I've added a speed ramp to this clip, which is really cool. And because I've added the speed ramp and I'm using footage, I can put a flare on top of this and make it look even cooler. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and grab a flare. Let's grab this one right here. And I'm just gonna shrink this up just a bit so it fits. And the first thing we need to do is change the blend mode from normal to screen. And then we can work with the scaling. So let's do it about right there. And that looks great. Let's, let's play that through. I love that, and if I actually enable this, you can actually see it, how the difference it makes. See how it just it gives that nice little pop of color? It's so pretty, I love that. And that's great, but here's what's really cool, and this is gonna be my, my technique number four, and this is what I love. Because this is video footage, I can add any effect to this that I want. It's just footage. So I can come over here, if I don't want this flare down here in the bottom left-hand corner, maybe I want it up here in the top. Well, I can work with that. So we're gonna come over here to effects, and we're gonna twirl down the video effects uh, right here. We are then going to twirl down to the transform. And we're gonna take vertical flip, we're gonna drag it over here, watch this. Boop. Simple. I just added a, an effect from Premiere, and now if I rewind this, you'll see the flares in the top right, the, the top left-hand corner, and it looks awesome. Perfect. Remember, this is just video footage, so you can get as creative as you want with the effects that come inside Premiere and do all kinds of crazy things with it. All right, so let's keep moving on. We've got two more clips here. Let's just keep adding all of these different techniques that we've learned. So we're gonna grab a light clip. We're gonna drag it on, and I wanna zoom in here, and I wanna show you. You don't actually, I've started all of my clips at the beginning here, but you don't have to do that. So I can move this clip, maybe I want it in the middle. So we have some of this, and then the light effect comes in. So let's first, let's change the blend mode to screen, and then let's find the effect, and maybe we'll scale it down just a bit. And I also wanna take down the opacity, so let's turn the stopwatch off, turn the opacity down, and then rewind that clip. And you'll see that I didn't have to start at the beginning, has this nice blue light that comes in while they're at the beach. I love the way that looks, so easy. Keep going, one more, let's just finish it off. Let's just grab this light effect, stick it on top, Select it, change the blend mode, normal, screen, and then uh, we'll probably, let's do the scale. And then rewind that. Nice, a nice subtle hint of color. And that's it. You're all finished, all of your light effects are done and it's super easy. Now we always get this question a lot, when do I use these light effects? When's the appropriate time to use these? Well, the answer to this is whenever you want. Use them to add a little soft light to your video, add them to a locked off shot to give some motion, throw them in and start playing. These light effects are so great and can do so many things. So experiment, have fun, and make your video get noticed today. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.